Hey guys, this is the Terminator, and this is part 69 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, in which we go do uh, kind of annoying fetch quests for the, and such for the boomers. So, yeah, I'm just advancing along the main quest, which means we have to do all the boomer crap, like help people around the camp, uh, refloat the B-29, uh, all that jazz. So we're gonna go talk to Mama Boomer, also known as Pearl. Let's see what she has to say. How is your visit with us going, stranger? I'm still trying to figure out who to help and how. Each of the elders would appreciate I already assistance talked to her when with I came various the issues here for... in Nellis. Seek out Jack, Loyal, Raquel, and Argyle. They will guide you. See you Bye. Later. So we'll go help the guy in the hangar first. I forget what he needs. Uh, some just random bullcrap. If I recall correctly. Actually, we can go talk to the, the stupid kid who does the the history museum. And the, the history part is interesting, don't get me wrong. It's just that I've already done it, so I will be annoyed by him and refer to him as stupid kid because I already know what happens. So, well, we will actually go talk to him next. Corp shop. I think, is it this place? It's one of these. Yep. There's also a snow globe in here. I think I might have already picked it up when I was here th the first time, but, uh, nope. Ba bam There we go. Let's talk to this guy and look at the history of the boomers, because it's so awesome. Hello. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Oh, yes, very much so, because I don't know it at all. I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? If you insist, sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born. They lived in all five, I think. Oh Everyone no, thirty-four. Duh, my but bad. <laughs> the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. It's the uh Ages ago, long before I was born. We lived underground. What the? It's Everyone the one with the really guns, overstocked armory? The overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Oh, Not even a I think was it the, the irradiated one as well. Where is Fault 34? Don't know if I have it marked yet. A 322. I think 34 is the one that got irradiated, but I could be wrong. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. Yeah, it's definitely that because that's the one with the armor. Burn them with flamethrowers. Lovely. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. Oh no. We needed a new home. Oh, sorry. I'm seeing again. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are mighty guns to destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even Yep, you guys are a real gates. bunch of charmers. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage. Talking to me? But, anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. Damn, bitch. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here. And it has taught us where to find one. Yep, the, the VR pods, that they can do starfighter so training, or not starfighter, space fighter training. Yep, that's really to what we want to the help them doing. To fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. And we're, we're seriously going to help these guys do this? We're, we're going to help them get, the, get this bomber and and just destroy everybody. We're, we're going to... This is a thing that we're, we're going to do. Like, look, look. So long. They're playing us to carpet bomb the goddamn wasteland, and yeah, we're just going to help them out. Yeah, great great plan, guys. Really, great plan. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology. Why do we always hurt the ones we care about the oh, most? Oh, crap. Hey. Oh, you this got is Veronica's second? quest triggered. Alrighty, we will do this one after the boomers. The Brotherhood is failing. Love this quest. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there first chance I get. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. <laughs> Seriously. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's Veronica's quest, uh, I Could Make You Care, which is kind of is involved in saving the Brotherhood, and it really is quite tragic. It's the reason why she's, uh, like, my favorite companion, in addition to just being awesome, is that she has a, a genuinely really just kind of tragic and uh, moving story, which is, again, kind of reflective of how characters in this game that the companions should only have much more depth than uh, any of their Fallout 3 counterparts. But yeah, Veronica's story is really tragic, even significantly more so, I would argue, than Boone's. And as those of you who know Boone's story, uh, no, his is not exactly a, you know, laugh riot. So, but Veronica's is just depressing as hell. And it's great. I love it. Isn't Loyal supposed to be in here? Hmm. Maybe he's in the mess hall. Alright, well. I kind of don't want to do the ants thing. Uh, I think I have to get up to. I have to get my reputation up to light, I think. Yeah, I really don't want to do the ant thing because the ant thing is just the devil. How is that not using AP there? Well, that must be a bug. Hmm, cool. But yeah, the ant thing is horrible because they, they explode and god, it's just a pain in the ass, so. I do not want to deal with that. I don't want to do the stupid thing with for Jack or whatever, where you have to run back and forth, you know, between him and the, the stupid girl at the ranch, and it's just it's a pain in the ass. We have the Brotherhood Citadel music plays in here, I'm pretty sure. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Looking for ways to make myself useful? If that's so, how about you look into right, repairing yeah. the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis cool. between the two runways. Alright, uh, I passed through a place called the Helios 1. Maybe I can find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. I'll be back. I got work to Be do. sure to stop on back and let me know when the arrays are fixed. I do think the boomers are a very cool concept for a faction, just because they, uh... As they are, you know, former vault dwellers, you don't really see like, vault dwellers kind of out and about a lot in the, uh... In these, obviously, in, in 2 you have Vault City, but... Other than that, there, there's really not that many vault dwellers wandering around to kind of see how the vault dwellers, the, the vault sort of working its intended towards protecting it protected these people, and now it let them kind of evolve outside of the safety of the vault and see what they evolve into. It's, it's pretty cool. So we're going to go to Helios 1, grab those parts, and then uh, I think there's some other stuff I can do besides the ant thing, but I might just do the ant thing. It's awful, but might as well just get it out of the way. And I think I'm still fairly low on stim packs, like 25, so... I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh oh. Let's get a bit of a flickering light situation here. And NCR's doggy buddies is still on. Okay, well NCR doggy buddies isn't on, but I must have some maybe Project Nevada or Fugas reskinning them because this is not. These are not. That's not a typical dog. So the NCR dog actually looks healthy, but God damn it, Veronica, is pretty awesome. Ooh, got something good for me? All right, I'll Is just it a carry him. Shit, that's the wrong one. I'm dumb. Ooh, got something good for me? No, it's not a dress. Is it a dress? Get your dress later, just for the. Hey, I clip. can't really move now, but you I'll follow move. you in spirit. Hey, I can't really yeah, move really now, much. but oh, I'll yeah, follow you, do you have in a lot spirit. Of stuff, actually. <laughs> okay, well we'll take this. Give you that. There we go. Much better. Much more thematic. Alright, so just gotta go around the back, uh, past Mr. Fantastic, who really isn't all that fantastic, but he's quite hilarious, so we forgive him. Yeah, I don't think I ever did the, did I do the Helios 1 quest? I don't think I did, let me see, is it, we just called that lucky old son. Yep, no I did not, uh, we'll, uh, we'll mark that one. Back. Yeah, I, I don't really want to do the Helios 1 quest just because, uh, I don't know, there's really not much call for it. I think I might end up having to do it eventually for NCR, but, uh, we'll see. It's been a while since I've been through here, so I don't quite know my way around, but 
think this should put me out to the back sooner or later. Well, I have missed these interiors. They do have a certain charm about them. Yep, there's the Fowler's guy and the moron. So that means the exit's right out here. We can just grab the solar panel parts and move along. And of course it's night. So you have to find, there's a bunch of busted array panels that you can find and just strip the parts off of. I think there might be some enemies too, but quite sure. So that was the array. Yeah, you need to get like six things of parts, I think. I don't really wait for a day. Uh, also, I apologize for uh, doing stuff in the night. I do forget. I do really like uh, doing stuff in the actual dark nights because I think it's very atmospheric and cool, but I uh, forget that it's very hard to see on YouTube, so I, I remember, I'll try and avoid doing that where possible. Right, so that's day. Is there a radio on? I don't want to have a radio on. I had to just, yep, just had to pull one of my freaking videos because of a copyright claim because of the, uh, the damn radio. If you're wondering where episode 20 went, and by the way, that's what happened to it. I apologize, but it got muted, so it's not like I can do anything with it anyways. So, that's a bummer, but oh well. Copyright really sucks right now, so here's hoping that the various initiatives to make it a little less, rest less restrictive actually go through, although I kind of doubt that they will, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so there should be a couple more lying around. I'm pretty sure you need, like, five, uh, but we will see. Look at that. This is Project Reality running. It just looks so cool. Like, I could actually just, just sit. I have in Run Fallout 3. Just sit and watch the sunrise for, for this, the sunset for this game. Like, it just looks awesome. It may not be as good at world building as uh, Bethesda, but they still built a pretty cool looking game environment. So, can't really complain. Is that. I know I need more than three sets of parts. Well, let's just go for now, and we can just come back, I guess. Uh, let's see how many I actually... Er, wait, er, does it show me still? Nope, okay, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go back. Uh, let's see how many I actually need. Now let's hang on the arrays all the way out there. Yeah, crap, I forgot they had one of their fast travel place to mark. Oh, well. <sighs> I'm not going to start with the ants just yet because there's not enough time. But we'll get around to it sooner or later. I really want to know why my fences are doing this. They, they look weird. It's some kind of graphical thing. If any, yeah, if anyone's had something similar and they know how to fix it, let me know, that'd save me a fair amount of just having to dig around on my own, which I'm not averse to. But it's always nice that someone else can just provide you with the answer, right? So, <laughs> appreciate it. Is this the right way to the array? Uh, nope. Yeah. Thought I was going a little off course there. Yep, there's the dishes. Okie dokie. I really hope you only needed three parts, but I could have sworn you needed more, so... Oh, and they're lovely howitzers. Yep, they're just great. <laughs> they really are an interesting faction. Like, you know, they're, not, they're not bad people, per se, but they still try and you know, kill all outsiders. So it's a very interesting dynamic to just kind of examine. Wait, should, do I have to go through this to the ants to get to this? I think the, the woman I have to talk to is at, like one of the guard posts back there, maybe. So I don't think she's here. I think she sends me in to clean out the ants. Yeah, I probably... Do I need to... 
system. I can shop up here. Okay. Thank God for oh, oh no, I can't get up. Oh, Alrighty. I wasn't sure if New Vegas is gonna be sometimes finicky self. Oh, I can just repair it. Oh, damn. I completely forgot about that. Oh, did a fetch quest for nothing. And I make it better just because I'm that awesome. So I, you probably get more reputation if you do it this way because you're improving the efficiency, I assume. But I can't speak to that for certain. So don't quote me on that, folks. Yep, okay, there we go. So we're going to go back to Loyal, and then I might end it here for today. I apologize that some the segments have been a bit shorter as of late, but I'm trying to keep it to maybe like 20 minutes. Since if I can update three videos a week, that'd be like an hour a week. Although, that does raise the problem that with the game that's this long, it takes a while to get through. So, we'll see. Now, ideally, I might even end, end up being able to do like a video a day, but we'll uh, baby steps. You know, see if we get there. But yeah, if you have an opinion as to video length, uh, I'd love to hear it. You know, if you prefer like the longer thirty-minute ones or shorter twenty-minute ones, because it's again basically all up to whatever you guys prefer watching. So either way, I'm aiming to do it three times a week. So bear in mind that uh, if it's a shorter videos, that's gonna uh, you know equate equate, uh, equate out to about half an hour less uh, of the let's play a week. So it'd be like you're kind of missing out on a. The, uh, the third episode if I did the uh, three 30 minute ones but again if you prefer to watch in 20 minute segments if you find that's more convenient or just just better let me know and I will gladly uh, change up my method because again it's all about what you guys want to see and I definitely keep that in mind I like all the ambient music that's Watch memorized now. It's fantastic. Wait, sister? I'm, I'm a man. I guess Veronica or Willow? Huh. Weird. Hello, outsider. Need something? I fixed it. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. I have to go now, because you can't get Don't a pod that can like, put it into the VR pods. I wonder if I can... I'm just gonna go see if liked is enough. Don't think it is, but I could be wrong, so. I think I'm gonna have to do the ants. As much as I don't want to do the ants, because they blow up, oh. I think I'm gonna have to. I do enjoy just randomly going to the third person and watching everyone kind of run along. It can be quite fun. I haven't been habitually quick save spamming, that's unfortunate. How is your visit with us going, stranger? What do people have to say about me? I do believe you've convinced one or two of us that it's better you made it here than we're blown to smithereens. I have to go now? See ya. Yep, I'm gonna have to do the ants, which that's what that means. Alrighty, so uh, I think it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna end it here for today. Uh, next week we will be doing the ever so great Exploding Ants quest, which is just really the best, and it's so fun, because, you know, they'll just kill you immediately. Veronica's gonna have a great time punching those things, really. So, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Again, please let me know about the 20 minutes versus 30 minutes thing, whichever you prefer to see. Uh, this has been episode 69 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. This is the Tunator, and I'll see y'all later.